Hey yo, what's up? You guys, good afternoon. We're heading to go pick up the kids. And I'm going with baby Neil. Ooh, my new help started learning her work. She started officially today, so she's not back yet. So me, my husband, and baby Neil, we want to go and pick up the kids. Yeah. This is basically an evening routine in my family, yeah? So stay tuned and keep enjoying the vlog. Ochi, I will talk. Ochi, I will talk. 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 I Iwe di nobi Ochi di neze Oh I have some people Zere ndo kochi Zere ndo kochi No ochi ya woto So we picked up the kids And we headed home Before we left I begged hobby that I wanted to go and buy roasted plantain So this is us on our way To go and buy the roasted plantain Because if we get home And didn't buy it To come off for us again <laughs> You know, go green me. So we got to the woman, and guys, I was asking her this hard chicken, this hard grilled chicken. How much? Like how much was she selling them? You see that lap there? This woman said it was eight hundred naira. If you see the small small things, she was selling for five hundred or more. I could come and bought my uh, my yam, and we headed home because I cannot come and kill myself by myself. No, I can't. <laughs> Y'all, we headed home. This is us entering the estate. Yeah, we entered the estate and we headed to our apartment. We got to our building and we headed inside. Yes, I just thought to drop this voice note so that you guys will not be left out, so that you will not be asking what is happening in this vlog because there was no audio in these particular clips so yeah we got home and i served myself you guys i later bought grilled um banla fish to eat my roasted yam with yeah many hours later Mama Much, much later. Momina mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys I just had my bath I want to sleep yeah and this boy is here he's giving me signs that he wants to sleep with us now do you want to sleep with mommy and daddy mm. Eh? Mm. Is it, mm? <laughs> love mommy Guys, I just had my bath. Let me just apply this. Uh, ash, stop that. Let me apply this serum. That's the only thing I want to apply this night because I'm on my way. 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 I'm Hey, hey, don't touch my face. Don't touch my face. You eat a bit now. Church, I So, I don't want to apply anything. 
Like, I don't want to apply anything that will <laughs> mail me <it. laughs> Hey, hey, don't talk. Chimdebe. Neil. Stop that. <sighs> you guys um i popped in here to tell you people something that is the one place i want to talk this one there has gone it's remaining for here to like it's remaining for her to grow here the whole thing don't go yeah you guys uh something happened in our neighborhood like my neighbor not like in this compound and the next compound like the compound after our own they lost the baby there not like a baby a child a child of six years a boy and the parents only has two children a boy and a girl the boy is six years the girl is 12 years so which means giving birth was a hustle like giving birth to these two children with the age gap you know that it was a hustle so and now they've lost the boy it's remaining the girl Jim, i'll send you out i'll just send you out now better respect your old age so what killed the boy what killed the boy was convulsion oh my god with your dirty nose Mwah. keep quiet oh yeah wait wait let me wait take so what killed the boy was convulsion now i know the mom not like she's my friend but we do greet if we see each other like madam good morning madam good afternoon and that is that about that i know her i know the husband the husband is a plumber the husband have like i think the husband has come here to work two times in my kids bathroom so yeah the husband has come to this flat to work you guys convulsion killed that six year old boy and like it touched me ah the type of wailing the woman was wailing yesterday the type of wailing this woman was yelling not like yesterday it was early in this morning she started crying like shouting oh my god top of her voice like you would know that something went wrong so it was this morning that we got the news of what happened they said it started uh day before yesterday so which means this sickness was two days sickness it started yesterday that his boy started running temperature and she the husband went and bought medicine they gave the boy that day before yesterday but the temperature was still going high going high the next day they took him to the hospital which i won't be naming like i won't be mentioning the name of the hospital because i don't think it's the hospital uh fault so they took him to the hospital and the hospital ran some tests and said it was high fever you understand high fever and they administered they administered <laughs> medications to the boy and they watched him closely for some time and uh they did nah, don't throw this in i'll beat this boy and they discharged them like they told the woman to go yesterday they, hey what name so will be so the hospital told them to go and come back the next day which was supposed to be today they left and the woman said they brought him back then he ate the boy said he was hungry that he wanted to drink pap they made pap and gave him he ate and then this fever came down a bit and then around four in the evening the fever came up again like the temperature was now going high going high so they went to the hospital again the hospital gave the boy some injections 
and told them to go and still come back the next day like that is today they still came back people of god around she that was around uh we started hearing the shout around bring it so we started hearing the shouts around three three this morning so it means they started like the city what what bring it now so which means this whole thing started say 12 1 i don't know the woman according to the story i heard oh, this morning you know that since, uh, since this morning people have been trooping into the compound and coming out so my neighbor went there i haven't gone there because i don't know what i'm going there to do the woman is not like she's my friend guys i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know if i should go i don't know if i should not go when my dad died he, she didn't come so make you not be like sad they find who no they find me mm -hmm. you understand maybe you cannot be like say i define who know they find me so it's better today my day <laughs> nah, nah, this boy has been a distraction so the boy's temperature became high again tears started gushing out from the boy's eyes he started doing like this like his finger started doing like this he started doing like this his toenails were shaking and the woman said she thought it was convulsion but that she didn't know what to do she was just praying for morning to come the boy didn't make it she said that when the tears were coming out that his boy wasn't crying but that tears were coming out you uh, understand and that his hands were doing uh, like this uh, you understand and his toenails were doing like that also so that is what brought me here please mothers i've experienced this thing when i had uh my first son that's richard Chigamso. but my own happened when i went to visit my mom that time my mom was still alive so my own happened when I went to my father's house to visit my mom. Bye. That night, like during the day, like around four, three, four, he started running temperature. So I gave him his syrups that was that we are around. That was para and vitamin C. I gave him. I think he was around six months or there about. He was still taking Abidec, I think. Yeah, he was six months or there about. I gave him his meds, the ones I had, and I was hoping like i was like i said if i called the dad because i wasn't around if i called the dad uh he will send some money to me and then i'll take him to the hospital the next day midnight you guys my boy started shaking convulsion no be smarting hey god as i know that that day i know that again this boy started convulsing he started convulsing and there was no um palm kernel oil that is sudake in our language we call it eloaki there was none in the house because my mother no longer has a child in the house now uh -huh. so there was none in the house my mom went and brought onion onion she cut the onion into two onion has a round shape my mom cut it into two and then let me use nil as an example my mom used that part that is open I started rubbing him, started rubbing chicken. So he was naked like this without no diaper. My mom started rubbing him that onion on all over his body, even in his face, his head, his eyes, everywhere. My mom started rubbing onion all over his body. Then my dad uh, brought garlic. My dad brought garlic. My mom chewed the garlic and forced it into his mouth. Like my mom chewed the garlic and then brought it out and forced it into his mouth used the remaining uh, garlic rubbed it on his hand like this and started rubbing him all over the body it wasn't up to 30 minutes he stopped convulsing like the whole nonsense stopped and my boy slept off and that was the end these things are things that god created to help man like he created these things to help us and i feel like a lot of mothers do not know about this because had it been this woman knew that onions would have helped her would have helped her child i don't think if it's not death that came i don't think that boy would have been dead you understand now please if you are a mother listening to me seeing this video share this video let other mothers see it share it let other mothers who doesn't know about this to know about it if you're a mother and you have a child from zero to ten years please always have palm kernel oil 
if you can't find oh and bonke aku like i don't know the english oh god i don't know the english name you know palm fruits we have the one that is called akuojuku mm -hmm. please if you are opportune to get the palm kernel that is extracted from that akuojuku hey god just blessed you keep it guide it judiciously because it is that thing is a medicine on its own that thing is a lifesaver if you have it the only thing you need to do if you notice that your boy is convulsing just rub it all over his body or your child is convulsing rub it all over his body take a little put it inside his eye make sure it enters his eye give him a little in his tongue let him lick put it into his ears and rub it all over his body your boy will be calm but if you don't have it and you have onion in your house please please cut onions into two use it and rub the open part rub it all over your, your, your child's body. rub it all over your child's body and that boy that child will be okay if you don't have onions and you have garlic chew it and use it to rub all over his body give him put little into his mouth okay this is just something that something that works wonders but we don't know i just thought to add it into this vlog since i remembered it and i know that since that woman doesn't know about it a lot of mothers doesn't know about it so that is why i say Otawa, you need to say this thing on your channel so that people will be people will know about it i was talking to my friend some months ago i think bb links she's also a youtuber so she was like telling me how sasop sasop saved a family member and in, in her from her village sasop saved that person from prostate cancer a man an elderly man the man had prostate this man has gone to so many hospitals they will say it is gone later on it will still come back then someone told her abi she said someone told her be her doctor told her i don't know about sasop leave like sir oh we did not mess our job uh -huh. more chop chop uh -huh. that pain the leave if you get the leave even if you don't have cancer it cures cancer be it prostate cancer or be it any type of cancer i think i don't know if it's medically proven but i know it helps with cancer if you have someone who has cancer get that leave that's our soap leave wash it very well boil it give the pet the person should be taking the tea let the person be taking the tea you will see changes god will help you these things are things created by god to help us but we don't know about it even if you don't have cancer you are free to take it it helps a lot in your body system then if you see the fruit enjoy it it helps a lot please people of god <laughs> let us know what to do when to do it too. let us not say had i know uh -huh. i want to go and sleep let me concentrate on this boy i'll see you guys again in another video thank you for watching please make sure to share this video to the person you know that will need it okay to that new mom to that your sister that just gave birth that has more children that has kids please share this video to that person and god will bless you thank you i'll see you in another vlog bye oh yeah come and say bye oh yeah say bye no nah. say bye happening migaka say bye tell them bye okay get a good bye and i will not get more bye say bye <laughs> Say bye. <laughs>